at Lawler Lion People. Welcome to the next episode of LT Talks, Localization Talent Talks. We're here today at Localization World and my guest is Marcus Meisel from SAP. Hi Marcus, how are you? Hi there, very well, thanks. Good. Marcus, you have been working in the localization industry for a long time. Can you tell us maybe a little bit about how you got to where you are today, some of the milestones along the way? Okay, so I, I guess I have a classical linguistic background. I'm a conference interpreter by trade. Okay. and. Um, after my studies in Germany, I studied Spanish and Portuguese and then for personal reasons went to Canada and worked in uh, Vancouver for eight years as an interpreter and a freelance translator. So I've got the linguistic background. Um, things changed, my interpreting didn't go so well for a while and I sort of slipped into project management for a small translation agency that was localizing educational software. And that was really interesting and it was an international environment. I stayed with that for a while. I then spent half a year um, as an interpreter at the EU Commission in Brussels and then eventually started working at SAP. German software company, big business software company and I started as a translator for a year and then I actually got out of that whole field and I worked in documentation coordination. I was a product manager for content management system for a while and ten years ago I moved again within SAP into the central translation and language department. And I've been a manager there since um, with different teams for different jobs, but in the end it's always about uh, localizing the product. Okay, fantastic. And so are you responsible for hiring people then within your group? Yes, Management yes. Yeah. What are some of the struggles that you face as somebody looking to hire talent in this industry for your particular um, we, uh, w To be successful you need to be a pretty comprehensive person. Um, you need to be detail oriented but at the same time results oriented so you have to find the balance between um, making the job perfect um, but also considering the budget that's available, the time that's available, um, other constraints. Every project has its little challenges. Um, you have to understand the business behind it. Um, so it's something that you wouldn't easily find uh, from someone straight out of university. And um, also, we're a global oper operation, so we have uh, five major hubs from Vancouver and Canada all the way to Tokyo. Um, hiring is always difficult in different places. Uh, each place has its personal, uh, its, its different challenges. And um, especially when you're in a high lo cost location like Germany, where you might find the right people, um, sometimes the decision has to be made to hire somewhere else. So you and I have been part of the uh, ADT, which is the Attracting and Developing Talent Initiative part of Localization World for the last while. Yep. Um, you have been running some design thinking workshops in the last two sessions of that. What's the, why are you involved in that and what's the goal of, of ADT in general? Well, ADT is basically um, an initiative by the industry in general, led by, by the Local World Conference, to find out um, what the key reasons are for uh, the lack of talent, where there's like many other uh, high quality industries we have the problem of getting the right people with the right uh, skills so um, the initiative brings together four major target groups so four groups that are interested in, in improving the hiring situations it's recruiters it's, it's university and other educational institutions it's buyers and it's language service providers and together we were trying to figure out uh, what are some good ways of making our industry more well known because we identify that that is one of the key issues there's not enough knowledge about the localization industry. It's often, if anything, an afterthought in any product development process. Sure, sure. And we have gaps. We need to. We need new people. We need to encourage new people in, like from both the entry level side and also keep our senior talent. Exactly, and and especially here in Silicon Valley, I think we're also struggling with the fact that the large companies that are, uh, attract technically minded people. Um, offer very different environments than you know the language industry so a, a software developer would normally go for developing a cool app rather than doing some localization engineering yeah. but there is a lot of very positive stuff around the localization industry it's just not well known enough okay. what do you love about it <laughs> I love that it's multilingual I love that it's multicultural um, you have the possibilities of being in contact with people around the world um, you have to have a lot of different skills to be successful from the business through the technical through the linguistic and um, I love the diversity and the variety and, and I love being able to cover an end-to-end -end process. Fantastic. What would you say to somebody who wants to join the industry? What would be your recommendation? Well it's definitely a good industry to get into. Um, the key thing I think is to gain as much 
diverse experience as possible. So um, learn a language if you don't already have one. There, yeah. There's discussions about whether you actually need a second or a third language to be successful in the industry. I think it really helps with your credibility as a representative of the, of the industry. Understand the business that's behind it. Um, Travel around, move to different places, work in different places, work in different companies. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not a typical example because I've been with SAP for 19 years now, but it's such a big company that I could move around within the company and do different things. And, and each of those experiences gave me another little building block in, in understanding how the company ticks, how the business ticks, and therefore um, in localization, especially in our department, we're almost the only department, as far as I can tell, uh, that has touch points with all different groups in the company. So we, we do the localization for marketing, for product, for training, for you know the, the confidential corporate documents. Um, we deal with purchasing, we deal with support. Um, it's really, really diverse and, and so that's it's the thing. And truly yeah, yeah. And challenging. You can be a, an expert in a certain field, you can be a localization engineer, you can you can I assume in LSPs you can be in sales or your life. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be for me. Okay. I like the variety, okay. um, but I think the more of that diverse exposure you have, the better it is for you if you want to be successful in the industry. Fantastic. Mark Smizer, thank you very much for joining us today my pleasure. and sharing your insights. Um, my name is Annette Lawler, you've been watching LT Talks, Localization Talent Talks. Please join us for the next episode here at Localization World and other conferences around the globe. For more information, please visit our website, uh, our webpage, LT Talks. Thank you for watching.